Hi guys, thanks for watching. I am So Heidi, and this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a background color to a repeating pattern. I am in CC 2017, so this tutorial is relevant to CS6 and newer because I'm going to show you how to do this using the pattern making tool. So if you're in CS5 or earlier, um, this technique is not really going to work for you. We're going to do it in version CS6 and newer. Okay, so we're going to just create a really simple pattern to get started. And I'm just going to use my uh, ellipse tool. I'm going to draw one circle. I'm going to come up to Object, Pattern, Make. It's going to make the pattern out of that circle. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Pattern Tile tool here. I'm going to change the repeat size. Okay. And while we're in here, I'm going to draw a couple more circles. So I'll come back over here, I'll grab my ellipse tool again, and I'm just going to draw a couple more circles, right? So we're just drawing a simple polka dot. Okay, so once you've got that ready to go, you might think that looks great, and you're going to click Done. So I choose Done, and now what happens is if you and I guess we can put our pattern in a circle, fill that with a pattern, and then we'll fill that circle with a color, and I will choose Object Arrange, Send to Back. You'll notice that there is not a fill color on my pattern, and so this can be a problem as your artwork starts to overlap and stack on top of each other, um, that it just doesn't look right. And so you don't need to add another fill color to your circle or create another circle underneath it that has a fill color in it. We're going to actually add a fill color or a background color to the pattern. So I'm going to come over to my swatches panel. I'm going to double click on the pattern that I just created. So I double click on that. That opens up pattern editing mode and allows me to edit my pattern. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm just going to click and drag to draw a rectangle that is a little bit larger than the actual pattern tile itself. Now I don't want that to have the pattern fill to it because that is a little bit crazy. So let's just give that a, well that's kind of hard on the eyes, isn't it? Let's just do maybe a nice a light gray. Um, okay, that dark gray looks a little bit better. So once I've drawn that, I'm going to come up to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. And I send that to the back. And you'll notice that some of my pattern pieces are getting cropped off. Some of my circles are getting cropped. So I'm going to nudge this rectangle over to the left and up. So you can just nudge this over to the left and up enough until you see none of your pattern uh, your pattern motifs are getting cropped off. And I know it seems really weird. Conceptually, it's just sort of the way that the pattern tiles get seamed up with the motifs that are sort of bumping off of the edge. So again, over to the left and up. And depending on where your motif motifs are placed within the pattern, you might need to do this quite extreme. You might need to like really push it up into the upper left corner. Um, but once you're done with that, you just click done. And now you'll notice your pattern is updated and it has a background color and it's all contained within the pattern itself. So don't do double fills, don't do double shapes. It's really easy to just add the background color directly to your pattern tile. Thanks for watching guys, I'm So Heidi. If you liked this tutorial and you want more, check out my website at SoHeidi.com and sign up for my email list. I give away tons of free tutorials and downloads, stuff you do not see here on YouTube, stuff that you only see on the email list. I'd love to get to know you and meet you there. Introduce yourself. My inbox is always open. Again, thank you. I am so Heidi, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.